Hey everyone, this is Weekend Warrior Benson Boom TV coming at you with another bike check. Today we're checking out this 2023 Trek Roscoe 9. See the bike clamp covering up the Roscoe model name right there. It's a medium large 29er, 29 inch wheels, but it does fit 27 and a half plus. Original MSRP on this bike was around 2800 think it is the the highest spec Roscoe that you can get which uh, you know, after taxes you're probably looking over three grand uh, that's a lot for a hardtail but it is really well equipped I've had uh, a couple Roscoes in the past an eight and a six I believe and you know they were they had some kind of in mid-range uh, intermediate components for the eight and then the six a little bit more entry level so in trek's hardtail lineup you have the marlin you have roscoe's and then you have stash uh, so this one falls in between and you know as you move up you know, to the stash they're a little bit higher spec then they're more expensive but the you know they have different numbers so you have like a roscoe six and then this is the nine so top of the line roscoe and yeah it, like i said really nice components actually this is you know, my third fourth attempt at this video uh, again i don't have my gopros anymore that blocked out some of the background noise a little bit better but I'm trying until I get some better equipment doing it on the iPad uh, there's some some really um, there's loud didn't seem loud out here but in the video uh, the wind was pretty noisy so I just scratched it and trying again hopefully this turns out okay so I'll be I'll get a little bit more into the uh the details of the bike uh, a little bit more advanced or in depth just because you know i really enjoy mountain biking and i really like this bike so it's more for uh you know the mountain bike nerds out there um, really really nicely equipped bike not crazy about the color scheme and then those black uh, spots you know, that's the way it was designed that's the paint on it it is what it is uh, I'm more concerned about the uh, components but uh, it looks all right it's not the best looking bike it's not the worst so. let's get to uh, the components so start with the drivetrain like we usually do it is running a 12-speed um, Shimano drivetrain, or mostly Shimano. The derailleur is an XT, you can see that right there. Uh, the cassette is an SLX 1051. So 51, the highest uh, uh, tube count there in the rear. The uh, front chain ring and the crank are an E13 Helix. Uh, you know, I don't see E13 components much on mountain bikes. It seemed to work well the one time I, I rode this bike. Um, yeah, that's a, one thing I forgot maybe to mention is I did test ride it. Really liked it. I'm going to hang on to it. Keep riding it till I find something better. Uh, but yeah, E13 makes good components. And that's a 30T, yeah, 32 chain ring. keep going around let's go to the brakes now so these are um, Shimano Dior for uh, piston hydraulic brakes I think the model number is 6120 if I can find it yeah, right there it worked great 
no complaints. I'm a big fan of Shimano hydraulic brakes and then the four piston only makes them that much better. So starting with like the, their 500 or 5000 series and then these are a little bit one step up the 6000 which, which is the Dior. look at the suspension now see it's a Fox 36 boost 140 millimeter fork very nice no complaints on it uh, it works awesome uh, she's got some setup guidelines right there and that's one thing I find with uh, like people that are getting into mountain biking and they you know, they want their like first quote unquote real mountain bike and you know I always tell them if, if they or ask if they if they own a shock pump a lot of them most of them don't so I tell them that's a investment otherwise or a good investment otherwise you know, if they're running somebody else's uh, pressure on the bike they're not going to get the performance out of it so Sometimes you you buy you end up spending you know quite a bit of money on the bike and then you, know, you find out you gotta buy some other uh, accessories. But to me, for any air fork, it's almost a must-have is your shock pump. Okay, so yeah, moving on from the shock pump conversation. Uh, I forgot to mention the shifter is a SLX. See it right there. So usually the derailers are the highest spec, and then some of the other components, like the shifters and the cassette, might be a step down, which is the case for this bike. So let's check out the wheels uh, and tires now. It is running. Uh, line 30 comp that's from Bot Rager 29er boost wheels through axle tires are XR4 team issue also Bot Rager and I found Bot Rager makes uh, pretty good uh, in house components um, we'll spin it here uh, momentarily uh, one thing yeah I did look it up because it seemed to have really good engagement. Uh, it is a 54 tube, so um, uh, that, that's kind of like you know, when you start looking at things to upgrade, and maybe uh, you want to upgrade your wheels, that starts to become important. And it is noticeable, you know, once you, if you're an experienced rider, that engagement, if you have some wheels that engage right away, it's a, it makes a big difference. So let's uh, turn the pedal here. Let's listen to the hub. Sounds oh, pretty good. Yeah. Whenever I hear that, it's just that's music to my ears. That's uh, a good set of wheels. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that there's anything that I don't like about this bike. Usually, when the bike is really nice, nicely spec. Uh, I'm a happy rider uh, you know I don't know the specifics on the how wide or the, or the rise on the handlebars I usually just leave whatever's on the bike um, but th that is aluminum and I think one thing uh, you know, some more of the geeky stats uh, this is probably close to 30 pounds so it's an aluminum alloy frame uh, not you know, carbon fiber you're not really looking to save weight on this one but 
kind of get the little bit of the performance of a full suspension because of the bigger tires um, and maybe not as much maintenance and lastly forgot to mention the the dropper it is a Transax uh, 31.6 millimeter so that's the diameter of the, the tube uh, and then it's 150 millimeters for medium and large and, and up on the sizes so I do like that when the bike manufacturers you know make different uh, size like wheels or the, maybe the handlebars or the or the length of the the travel on the droppers you know based on the the frame size it's not a one size fits all so i think the smallest size starts at 100 moves to 130 for the medium and then medium large and up it goes to 150. yeah this is the uh 2023 Trek Roscoe really uh, great performing bike weekend warrior Bentonville MTB approves uh, if I had uh, you know like a rating this would be a five out of five for me anyway I hope you enjoyed this video it's 2023 Trek Roscoe 9 Appreciate you watching. Thanks.